Um, do you have um, like an aqua, like a light aqua color? Do you have a decent amount of colors or? Um, yeah, we do. Um, and in terms of like aqua colors, we have. It's good they're on sale. Acquired. Okay, so I've changed my mind. This really, really light green, I think it's too light. It almost really looks white and it's not achieving the aesthetic that I want. So that whole run around trip this morning sort of feels a bit redundant, but that's okay. Now I've got two options. I've either got the gold or I've got the blue. I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll start with the gold, see how that looks. If that doesn't look the way that I want it to look, I'm going to go over it with the blue and then we'll just be done. for the entire time that I was detailing and painting the bunny's eye but anyway let me show you what it looks like so as we were saying before the eye plays a really really big important part in any artwork and you can see here how it's sort of really starting to make the bunny come to life I've taken a little bit of liberty in making the eye a little bit bigger because I thought that will make it look a little bit more cute and I can go a bit cooler in the detail but if you come with me over here at this distance where most people are going to sort of be you can really start to see how it's starting to come here. up day three and you can see behind me the artwork is slowly starting to take shape since we've added the eye you can really tell it's a bunny and I've spent a lot of time this afternoon just adding all the furs and the details I'm putting little patches of color through the fur as well so it's just not so gray and boring let me know what you think of today's video if you have any questions at all about this artwork feel free to pop them in the comments below and i'll respond to absolutely everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one